Good evening, everyone. Welcome to News 2 Now at 10. I'm Bob Mueller. And I'm Haley Wilgus. Tonight, one Tennessee school board decided to keep five books on high school shelves, siding with their own review board. Critics of the book say depictions of rape, assault, and drug use were inappropriate for students. Here's News 2's Adam Mincer with the story. After months of delays and debate. You are providing pornographic materials to our children. I wish we had a problem where libraries were overrun by high school students clamoring to check out all the books. Tonight, the Williamson County School Board decided to keep, speak, perks of being a wallflower, where the crawdads sing, the field guide to the North American teenager, and extremely loud and incredibly close on high school shelves. We would make that book unavailable to 14,516 high school students unless they opt in. A board member said the books were optional classroom reads during a section on misfits. Some thought the book's depictions of rape, assault, and drug use made it inappropriate for teens. Exposing minor children to traumatic events like the rape described in this book is cruel and irresponsible. Just listening to traumatic and abusive stories may take an emotional toll on a child that negatively impacts their development and their worldview. Students disagreeing, saying these issues are their reality. All the parents who are reading about sexual contact and rape, wait until your child is in that situation and doesn't even know what's happening to know that it's wrong and then can't get the help that they need because they have no clue what's going on. Others say these books model behavior that makes schools less safe. The bullying isn't getting much better, and if you look at the root cause, it's likely tied to the CRT curriculums, restorative justice, as well as these obscene books. What motivation do our students have to follow the code of conduct when the school board itself is ignoring Tennessee law? I can assure you that the high school student who commits sexual harassment or physical assault or uses illicit drugs or calls someone a name or uses profanity did not learn that behavior from a library book. The board also discussed and seemed to indicate they'd have a discussion about creating a rating scale similar to movies but for library books. The goal being to make it easy for students and parents to know if there's any inappropriate content in books before reading them. Haley?